Hi Libra, this is Just with your July 25th, 2020 weekly general read. I hope you guys are having an enjoyable day so far. Um, I've been saying this for a while now and some of you, you really are changing. Like your readings aren't in the same, like some readings you just keep reading the same damn thing. But no, you guys are really, really changing. Uh, I feel like for some of you, we're going to take it light. We're going to take it a little light at first. Um, career looks great. You actually are about to win major. A deal, a collab, a partnership, a job, uh, business definitely will pick up. If you have um, competitors, they will be no competition. There's something you could be doing behind the scenes so that you will come out on top. And it looks like you will. Okay, no one really knows about what's going on behind the scenes. Some of you could really be playing nice, um, really making people believe, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm for it, da, da, da. But behind the scenes, it's like, I don't give a damn what you guys think and how I, how you feel. I could care less about the two of you either. So, like, it seems like almost like in public, you come across, you have one face and behind the scenes, you're a completely different person. You're extremely shrewd and ruthless behind the scenes. But in front of people, you come across very ca cra charismatic, excuse me, um, and nice and very friendly. Some of you also could be doing root work to um, change the energies around you so that it's in your favor as well. Now, I'm seeing, you know, this time right now is pretty sticky. All hell is breaking loose around you. There's imminent change, imminent, imminent change. There even could be a loss of someone. So my condolences in advance if that is the case. But I definitely see loss here. And I see it being hard to reconcile this situation. You have someone, that either you're becoming very hardened over time go, as time goes on, or someone around you be, is very hard to deal with extremely hard to deal with and it's not going to get any easier dealing with this person um there's still a uh, care for someone um here and this could be like a family member but i feel it could be a family member this could be about money uh it could be some type of business partnership but i feel you have some tricks up your sleeve libra you really do some of you could be dealing with a virgo but you definitely have tricks up your sleeve in the home life, it looks like you want to depart from the situation at home, okay? It's like little things bubbling underneath the surface. Everything seems to be a little calm now, but you may feel um, not as connected, committed, loyal, tied to, responsible for your day-to-day -day home life. Okay, some of you could be spending or wasting money in this house as well. And it's like, I want to get the hell out of here. I want to go back to some of you may want to go back to back home, back someplace that's familiar to you, back to a place where there was more peace. Um, because I do feel like, like I said, there was a lot of drama, but somebody's trying to fix whatever the problem was in this relationship because they don't want to be stressed out anymore. But whoever they're trying to fix this with, this person is just like, no there it's going to be difficult to just forgive and forget okay and i feel like someone kind of showed their hand someone got caught out there and now that either they have to come back groveling or trying to apologize and make it right or they're they've gotten themselves caught up and caught out and said something or did something um, that's going to be hard to come back from yeah about a relationship and you guys are all upside down you really are this is not easy even though you may be you, yeah your life is like at a complete standstill this is the moment libras this is the moment where your life is literally standing still and just like that you're you're it's, you could be a lot of things in your life could be moving but you're not moving you're literally stuck in one place because it is a major thing that has you stuck like you can't move forward because this thing isn't taken care of and it's not being taken care of right now. So you're literally, your will is stuck. Your will is literally stuck. You know that there's major problems here. And even though you may have tried your best to fight and work this out and 
see how can we get on the same page. It's been difficult because you can't do it all on your own, right? And it's not enough forgive me's. It's not enough what can I do for you to fix it. So there's something that you really can't fix on your own and you know that there's problems. And I feel that leaving isn't even the answer right now either. So I'm almost like, damn it, I can't leave and I don't want to stay. <laughs> so, oof. Um, so there's that, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying here. Now, um, if you're looking to try to leave, because some of you are trying to move probably out of your home, you know, asking and probing people in your in the area, like, what do they think about the neighborhood and trying to find out, you know, is this a good place to move to? Good luck. People are not going to be very forthcoming. Um, there's something about a brokenness in family. Money also may have been swindled or swandered to some extent someone may have taken money from you but you found out um, or there's just a breakdown in family and it could have been because someone went and got married like you somebody could have secretly be married or gotten married they didn't tell you they haven't told you and you know you already know like I know you married I know you went and got married now all of a sudden you want to tell me anything and I asked you over and over again who is this person to you I asked you over and over again what is going on here with you and this person nothing nothing you want to tell me nothing nothing now all of a sudden now it all comes out Right now it all comes out what's going on here. So this is a bit of a shit storm. There's a lot of little things going on here, Libra, in this reading with things coming out. And it all has to do with partnership, marriage, or some type of commitment happening here um, is what it looks like. And for some of you, if you're just like adjacent to it, because some of you, it's not your situation. It's like it could be family members, people around you. You're trying to get as far away from this shit as possible. Like, I don't want any parts of this. I don't want to have anything to do with this at all. And if your money is tied up with someone because they're having problems, now your money is tied up, you'll help. But to a point, even you are going to say, listen, I, I'm cutting this off, but you haven't gotten there yet. Now, let's look at singles <clears throat> libras you want love you still want love um there's still somebody that you probably feel very strong with if some of you are just out there getting to know people socializing like dating you probably really feel strongly about someone but they see you as another option but that's not going to last they will eventually see your value over other people it could be a lot about sex, so be careful. Don't be so eager to jump in to things with people because you will find out that this person is already committed in a relationship, married, and then you're caught up in a sex-based, sick. I said a sex-based business is what came to my mind. I meant relationship. Could be business. Could be business. So uh, yeah, let's keep going. Some of you, yeah, you're stroking somebody's ego big time, but I do feel like it benefits you as well because this person may have money. They may have something to offer. You can't get on the same page about where this is going because someone likes to be single. They like to live life on their own terms. You are being juggled with you and somebody else. It's, you're very, it's very obvious. You could be dealing with someone who's extremely stubborn. You do want commitment and love, but happiness seems to... You may feel like, oh, I never have a relationship where, where I'm happy happy and somebody that you know is coming back to you to try to reconcile what else is new Libra uh, they want to offer you a real commitment but I do feel like this is someone who energy is very temporary and they'll grow bored eventually you want them to come back and you know they are trying to convince you that they can be trusted and that you know let's try to make this work but I feel like you're not going to really trust the person some of you are trying to really heal this is Libra singles of course you're trying to heal and you're going to be going out and spending time out with your friends and that sort of thing and in going out and just enjoying your life and not really putting too much uh, importance on love is when love is coming in. Definitely. Love is going to come in. Uh, so there's that. Be careful, though. Lo I do feel like love is coming in, like you're going to be in some type of committed relationship is coming for you, Libra singles. Uh, so, yeah. There's that.
Um, but just, I would say be careful because it seemed to me like some of you could be out having a good time with your friends and stuff and you meet someone and your friend may be interested in a person or seeing the person and then you, but you wind up with them that mm, I'm getting that. It can get a little messy with partying, mutual parties and being friends with, with opposite sex is what I see. So if you have girlfriends, you both might like the same person. If you have guy friends, same thing, but it seems like you're going to get the girl or you'll, you'll get the guy. Uh, now, and you are going to be lying and not telling your friends. So it can get kind of messy. So be careful with that. Now, Libra couples, um, this relationship, boy, oh boy, oh boy, it is riddled with problems. You have a liar on your hands or someone who's just not ready to, to be honest about, like they said something that they're now regretting or they're not being honest about how they truly feel about this relationship. Healing this, fixing this, snail's pace, snail's pace, snail's pace. It'll take a while. It's going to take some time. Um, for some of you, I have to say, you are... And now, now, I have to tell you, if this is a third-party situation, um, there's going to be a lot of where do we go from here with this third-party situation. That's for sure. Somebody's putting their foot down. I feel also, you know what, not for nothing. I feel like for some of you, you don't love this person the way you used to. Mm -mm, I don't. And I feel like a lot of you, especially, I feel like for some of you, you just feel like you miss the passion and the love and the intensity that the two of you shared, the intimacy. It was a very intimate, private relationship, and you miss that with this person. Um, you're not expressing that with them. But, you know, this may be someone where it's like you're con you've always kind of put them first ahead of you um to to help them get ahead in in career and life and that sort of thing and now you're thinking like well, what the hell about me what about me do i even want this anymore and have i been you know fantasizing this into something that it no longer is you know there's that Yeah, you're stuck in something because of marriage, because of responsibility. And some of you want to break free from the situation. You want a love that you truly benefit from. Like you both are going to benefit from is what Libras look like they want. But you always find yourself. I, I'm getting an energy Libra heal as if you're a Pisces. Like you're always having to make the sacrifice. You're always having to give to someone, build them up, support them, be there for them, which is not like... Libra I'm not saying that you guys aren't a supportive person you're very supportive um but th that's the ones I'm speaking to now you guys are the ones that are really have tried to support someone and be there for them in spite of all the antics in spite of at, at times feeling as though you're in a maze and when can I get out of this and I want change I want something better and but then I love them or I'm you know I'm, I'm gonna still be committed to this um and I feel like this person is going to try to make you believe that everything is okay, but you need to know it. It's like you need to believe it. It's, it's not anything they can do. You need to believe it. Children also can be involved so that, you know, that drags anything out when children are involved sometimes. Yeah, working on this. Damn, it is going to be... <coughs> It is going to be a challenge to work on this. So what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, Libra, it looks like you're going to take matters in your own hand, boy. Yep, you're going to take matters into your own hands. By any means necessary is what it looks like. You're going to get your peace of mind back. Mm -hmm. So I feel the biggest challenge is some of you aren't feeling the same way about this person that you used to. Uh, it's almost like a turn off, but I don't feel because, because you're at this crossroads where it's like they turn you off and you just, you remember when they turned you on so much and it's like, Oh my goodness, I can't get enough of this person. And now it's just like, uh, we bother with you. And and, and then it's like, you know, but then they may be in a bad place. So it's like, I can't turn my back when they're in this place because then I'm going to be looked at as a bad person. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So now, or you just really care about them. 
and it's like, nah, I'm, I really still um, need to be there and, and care for them. But I'm tired of being, you know, the maid. I'm tired of being the helper. I'm tired. You know, this is a relationship. I want to get something out of it too. Is kind of what it looks like to me. And, um, the only person that can do this is you and you know that and it doesn't come without heartbreak and pain and you probably know if I leave this person I mean, some of you may feel like this person is so codependent that if you leave what is going to become of them that type of thing or then you'll be looked at as a bad guy right but then you, you may feel like if I stay I'm gonna what am I what is going to become of me so there is that. And this doesn't come without sleepless nights. I mean, hell, it looks like you guys already have sleepless nights and a lot of stress and anxiety and worry. So there's that. Um, in the extended, we're going to look at this person. How do they feel about you, the relationship? What do they want to tell you deep down inside? What, it, what are the challenges? Um, what secrets are they keeping? How do they see you? What, where do they want the relationship to go in the future? What will their actions be and what will be the outcome in your relationship? And we're going to pull the Aries or Pisces. How do they feel about you? So if you're interested in that, click the link in the description box below. If you would like a personal reading, click the link to my website. You can set that up for yourself. And if you are new to this channel, welcome and subscribe because I'll be back very soon with another one. Take care, Libra.